Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we will be glad and rejoice in it. Amen. Um, I want to encourage those before I get into this video. If you have been watching and been edified through the videos, please hit the subscribe button. And um, please subscribe to the channel. And um, share, continue to share. Help me build this channel, you know, because we need the word of God to spread far and wide. Bless the name of Jesus. Also, I can see a shortage of comments. The comments are not coming in. There are persons that I have not seen for quite some time. Um, I don't know if we don't talk anymore, but I trust the Lord that there is no malice between us. Amen. So please talk to me in the comment section. God bless you. Um, the word comes today from Isaiah. Bless the name of Jesus. Isaiah. And it's something big because the Lord has showed me something to make things more specific. It, the Lord is ministering to me in this passage. You know, because there's a lot of speculation on when do we fly? When will we be taken? And so I, I, I am still getting videos Bless the name of Jesus. You know, of many people on YouTube doing videos like any day now, you know, concerning the rapture, any day now. But there's a specific time for this. There's a specific season when we will know when we fly. And I've done videos before. And I can't believe that the Lord have another place in the word that he could use to reinforce how specific the moment, that season, that hour that we fly. It's in the word, my brothers and sisters. And so, honestly, I don't get alarmed. When I, when I get videos about the rapture, we fly any day now. Um, because there must be an event, my brothers and sisters. For those who have not seen um, my, my videos about the fall of Babylon, the midnight cry must come first. It must. And the Lord is now using another word in Isaiah to confirm this. Bless the name of Jesus. What is the midnight cry? I use videos in the word. I use the word to make videos. The Lord make it clear to me. A hundred percent clear that the midnight cry will be a world event. Bless the name of Jesus. I was looking back Yesterday, not watching, just um, looking back on the movie with Denzel Washington, the book of Eli, my brothers and sisters. And in this book of Eli movie, Denzel Washington, I heard a part in the movie when he described, when he described to a few persons in the movie why the world was as it is in the movie where he said to them after the great war after the last great war listen this after the last great war there was a flash and in that flash everything changes he described in the movie that the world, because he was talking to a, a, a young girl that did not have a clue what took place. 
And he said to her, he says, the world before the flash. He says, the world before the great last war had more than enough. People had more than enough. And so without realizing, they would abuse it. They would misuse it. That's what he was explaining in the movie. The world before and the world now. He was describing the midnight cry. This world cry is going to totally shift things. Bless the name of Jesus. This is when the entire world goes dark. Bless the name of Jesus. And so, when do we fly? We fly in the night, my brothers and sisters. And I'm going to use the word. Let's go to Isaiah 60. And this is the revelation that I got in this word. Isaiah 60. This is the Lord reinforcing what he has placed in my heart, in my spirit for quite some time. You hear what Isaiah 60 says? Because I've done this also. I've read this even in other videos, but it never came to me this way. You hear what it says? Arise. Shine, for thy light is come. Bless the name of Jesus. We're not going to rush into, we're not going to rush this. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. Our light will come in the darkest hour, my brothers and sisters. Many of us, oh God, I'm getting emotional. Many of us who have been through hell in this world. Many of us who have been through hell at the workplace. Many who have been through hell in church. You, you see, my, my brothers and sisters, because of wisdom, I will not share some of the experiences I had when I was in my previous church setting. There are things that i rather to leave in the past. But I've been to two different church organizations in my life. And I don't come and share some of the stuff. Some of the, the, the tears... Some of the woes that I've experienced. I believe that I have experienced enough back in church that I could have walked away from church. That I could have just said, you know what? I'm done with church. But you know what? At the end of the day, it was not God that was doing what he was doing. Or it was not the, the, the problem was not between me and God. All the bad stuff was not between me and God. He allowed these things. And on my part, it's possible that if I had maybe done other things differently, things would have been different in some things. But my brothers and sisters, I have been true enough. If God had not have my heart fixed in his hands, I wouldn't be here this morning. And even until this day, I'm still an outcast to many. Even until this day, my God Almighty, Many of us, my brothers and sisters, we have been through so much and we are wondering when. 
we are wondering when. Because we are going to shine brighter than now. The move of God is coming again in the earth. There are miracles that will take place by many of us as the Holy Spirit uses us. There will be giftings in that hour that manifest, bless the name of Jesus, that we, we, we didn't know that we have such a gift. Many of us have been told, bless the name of Jesus, they have been, they have prophesied over our lives. And honestly, we just don't believe. We can't see ourselves, you know, in those prophecy. But my brothers and sisters, there's an hour coming where the Lord is going to use us. Those of us who are ready, those of us who are positioned with enough oil, those of us who are on the side of the five wise virgin. We are on the side of the wise. Our garments is ready. We don't play church. Bless the name of Jesus. We are not hypocrites. We are on camera. We are something. On stage, we are something, and at home, we are something else. At the workplace, we are something else. In our private time, in secrets, we are something else. No. God is coming back for a righteous people, a holy nation, a peculiar people. And so the word of God says, Arise and shine. Is, uh, this is for a set of people, a specific set. For thy light is come. This light comes, my brothers and sisters, when the world plunges into darkness. In a time when Revelation 18 be fulfilled, when Babylon falls, When the world experience the great war. Bless the name of Jesus. A shift. Bless the name of Jesus. He says, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. And so no matter who you are. Among your family. You have been trying to convince your families. That God is real. Jesus is real. And you are like a fool unto them. You are crazy. Oh bless the name of Jesus. In your community. You are, you, you, you are scorned. Mocked. God have you in the streets wherever you are warning and you are seen as a mad person. Bless the name of Jesus. When the world goes dark, my brothers and sisters, the glory of the Lord will be risen upon you, will be risen upon thee. This is when the remnant will experience my God Almighty. The latter rain, and the former rain, colliding, coming together. This is when we will experience the latter rain and the former rain. Bless the name of Jesus. When the glory of the Lord will be risen upon us. 
my God Almighty. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Because one thing you have to understand, that at the midnight cry, the song says, at the midnight cry, we'll be going home. I just want to explain something about this phrase in the song. We don't fly immediately. The word of God says, there was a call to the, to the bride. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. And so that means that the journey is not totally over. But the thing is, for, for us to continue the journey will be those who have enough oil. It will be a time when there will be you will not be able to travel without that light that comes from the oil. It will be impossible to go forward without having that oil that is needed. And so those who have enough oil will be shining. My brothers and sisters, we'll be shining on our way. We'll be shining on our way. The glory will be risen upon us. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Verse 2 says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. At midnight, the darkness shall cover the earth. But there's another darkness, my brothers and sisters. Hear what it says. And gross darkness, the people. So with everything that is happening, the world will plunge into spiritual darkness. But also that physical darkness that comes through the people. We are seeing it happening already. It's like we are almost there, my brothers and sisters. We are almost there. For example, I was at a soccer game. In America, you know it as soccer. We know it here in the Caribbean as football. I, 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 you know, and I, before the game started, I went on the field and I, I raised my hand and I said, I said to those who are going to play, you know, I said, can I pray before the game is started? Before you all start the game, can I pray? I want to pray with him, just, just pray that the Lord will cover you all, cover us all and everything. And my brothers and sisters. A young man immediately says, no, no prayer around here. We don't want no God around here. We are not into the God thing. No God around here. And he was adamant, no prayer around here. This is where we are, my brothers and sisters. Gross darkness, the people. We are seeing the manifestation in the people. It's coming together. My God. Right now, bless the name of Jesus. A sister, sorry, a minister in Jamaica, the, the, the education minister, minister of education. She comes out uh, last week and she's saying that they are making a decision from government they are making a decision that they are going to officially cut devotions out of school right here in jamaica 
right here in Jamaica, the government, the Minister of Education, she's a female, and she's saying that they are now making a final decision to remove devotion out of our schools. And when I read the comment section, because if you think that alone is bad, when I read the comment, there were people that was applauding it. There were persons saying, yes, it is time to separate God from schools. Oh my God, I'm wondering if, if you're feeling this. I'm wondering if you're getting this. There are persons that are rejoicing in the comment section that yes, Time to get all this madness out of the school. Time to separate God from school. And you know what is sad? The world is now getting ready. And, 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 and it's happening for years. But it had not hit our shores as yet. But now in Jamaica, persons are like, yes, the time is now to separate God from school. But look at the other stuff that they are now introducing to the schools. So it is okay to stop singing praise and worship to God before classes. It is now okay to, to, to stop reading the word or to repeat, my God Almighty, the, 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 the prayer. Our Father who art in heaven. You know, it's okay to remove all of that from the students and from our children and introduce everything else to these very same children. It is okay. This is what, this is what Isaiah was calling gross darkness, the people. Oh my God Almighty. There's so much I can, I can, I can show you. Concerning the behavior of mankind now. A time when people don't need God. People don't want to hear about God. People, don't, people are not interested in God. A time when people don't want to believe that there is even a God that exists. People don't have time. People don't even have time to collect a truck from us on the street. They don't have time to stop and just listen. Just like the days of Noah. Oh, it's coming together, my brothers and sisters. Gross darkness, the people. And our children is in trouble. Because a world is ready, this wicked world is ready to remove God out of everything that has to do with our children. But at the same time, they are ready to introduce everything else. Gross darkness, the people. He says, He says, But the Lord shall arise upon thee in these times. Bless the name of Jesus. These are not my words. In these times, the Lord shall arise upon thee. The Lord will strengthen his own. If we remain faithful, if we walk according to the word, Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. And his glory shall be seen upon thee. It's coming, my brothers and sisters. But it is not as what we think. We thought that, 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 that there'll be some great revival throughout the world already. For the past 10 years, over a decade, the world has been wait, awaiting a great revival. No. The glory of the Lord will be seen in the darkest hour. 
in the darkest moment. The glory of the Lord will be seen in chaos. The glory of the Lord will be seen in persecution. Just like in the book of Acts. Just like in the days of old. Bless the name of Jesus. And so, if we read the entire passage of Isaiah further down, you will see that this prophecy is also, you know, telling us about the, the reign, that thousand years, the millennial reign. Bless the name of Jesus. This is what this passage is all about. You can't deny it. And so, verse 3 says, And the Gentiles shall come to thy light. And kings to the brightness of their rising. But for time I'm not going to read all of it down. Because there's something specific that I want to touch on. And as you know my videos. I always save the best for last. By the help of the Holy Spirit. So you'll have to watch all the way down to get the meat of the matter. Bless the name of Jesus. And so... A lot of people are still struggling about the rapture. Will there be any rapture? I can't believe after doing so many videos, I still have persons even on this channel that does not believe that we will go anywhere. Bless the name of Jesus. They don't believe that they're going to be a carting, a carting, a catching away. Sorry. But I'm going to ask a question. And let me correct myself. The word of God is going to ask a question. If there won't be a rapture. I want you to talk back to me in the comment section about verse 8. I'm going to skip down to verse 8. And it says, Who are these that fly? As a cloud. And as the doves to their windows. Question sign. Bless the name of Jesus. I want to thank the Lord for the Holy Spirit. There's a question. After verse 1 says, Arise and shine. For thy light has come. Bless the name of Jesus. Verse 8 says, Who are these that fly? As a cloud. Who are these? Who are these? Who are these? Are you getting excited, my brothers and sisters? Who are these? Who are these? Who are these set that fly? I... Isaiah, the, the prophet, my God Almighty, as he prophesied, I believe that he got a glimpse, my God Almighty. I believe that he got a vision of what the, it's the, 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 the taking away is going to be like. When we're going to be caught up to meet him, King Jesus, in the cloud. Isaiah says, who are these that fly as a cloud? The event. I believe that the prophet got a glimpse of the event. He says, my God, who are these that fly as a cloud? And as the doves to their windows, who are these? These that will be ready. These that believe. What the word of God says. Bless the name of Jesus. These who have kept their garment. These who have kept their bodies undefiled. These who have kept their temple. Understanding that the temple. Oh, the body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. These are those who believe that we cannot mess around with the temple. Not any and anything can go in the temple. 
These are those who are hungry and thirsty for righteousness, who continues to seek the Lord. These are those who are hungry for more and more of Jesus. These are those who are willing to labor for the Lord Jesus, whether we are getting paid or not, whether we are getting recognition from man or not. We trust the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus and we continue to work in the vineyard. These are those who fly. Bless the name of Jesus. And so when do we fly? We fly. We fly when darkness totally covers the earth. We fly when there's a great shift. We fly. As long as the world remains like this, we will not fly. People continue to travel, singing and partying and eating and drinking. And as long as the world continues presently like this, personally, I'm not looking for the rapture because that's, that's not what I'm getting from the word. That is not what the Holy Spirit is the, who, who, who is the, who will lead me into all truth and is leading me into all truth is showing me as long as the world is like this. For me, it cannot be any day now. When Babylon falls, when the world shift from what it is totally to something else. Like the sceneries, the images in the movie, the book of Eli. They, 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 they show us these things, brothers and sisters, not just for entertainment. They love to show us what to come. I've said that many times. When the world shifts, then I know any day now. That's when I will know any day now. We will fly. The world has to totally plunge into darkness. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. You can continue to read it out. Read out the rest of it. Because the final verses. Um, it's all about. The millennial. Because it tells you in verse 8. Sorry in verse 19. The sun shall be no more. Thy light by day. When we fly. When we fly here what happens. Because we will be. Caught up in the clouds. As I have said in quite a few videos, and we will take, we'll be taken to the location in the earth where we will spend eternity, a thousand years, and return for the great white throne judgment and the, the battle of Armageddon war, and then we'll get back. Bless the name of Jesus to enjoy eternity. No, no, no. Verse 19 says, The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. But the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy God thy glory. The sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself, for the Lord shall be thine everlasting light. And I did this purposely. I read these two verses purposely to, 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 to convince those who will be struggling with this. This is talking about us exiting this earth and continuing life eternally on the other side in the menial reign and beyond. And so, 
whenever, as of this day, because I have never seen this verse, verse 8. I've read Isaiah 60 and I, if the Holy Ghost don't show me stuff, I will go over it. And so you hear quite a few people will, 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 will say to you, um, we need to read our Bible. We need to read our Bible and, and um, you know, study the Bible, study the Bible. It's good. It's good. But the truth is, it's not, you will never get that depth when you study alone. You have unbelievers who study the Bible. The ungodly study the Bible. Even the atheists read the Bible. And so, the idea is that everyone who reads the Bible understands the Bible. Maybe this should be for another video. Because this is deep. This is what is out there. Many believe that, you know, just read the Bible. We need to pray when we read the word that the Holy Spirit will lead us into all truth. The Holy Spirit is the one that will take us in the depths where we need to go. The Holy Spirit is the one that will take us in the heights that we need to go. And so without the Holy Spirit, there are some things that we will not get, my brothers and sisters. We must, we must have the Holy Spirit, the teacher, bless the name of Jesus. And so, and so, whenever, as of this day, anybody challenge you about the rapture, you don't have to be the one to ask the question. Because the prophet Isaiah, in verse 8, Isaiah 60, asks a profound question. Who are these that fly? If no one will be raptured from the earth, then explain to me, who are these that fly? God bless you. Love you, my brothers and sisters. Prayer meeting was good. We look forward uh, to coming back together. I trust the Lord that more will come on board because we need to pray to be ready, to be ready, to be a part of walking in the glory as the glory of the Lord is risen upon us, seeing the glory of God. We need to be praying, my brothers and sisters. Bible study also is back Thursday coming. It's prepared. We're going to Acts chapter 3. I'll post the, the, the link in days to come. God bless you. Have a great day. Happy Sunday.